Hey, what's up guys? It's Jennifer. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you guys didn't know, my birthday was actually, I think it was last week, week and a half ago somewhere. But I actually celebrated it um, this past weekend in Philadelphia with my sister. Um, I went to visit her because she's already there for an internship. So we had an amazing time. It was so much fun just hanging out with her and just being in a new city and experiencing it together. It was just, it was really a lot of fun. So I want to share with you some of the things that um, I did to kind of stay fit, stay healthy while on my vacation. So the first thing you want to make sure that you do before you get on an airplane, hit the road, whatever it may be, make sure that you eat breakfast because first of all, airport food is expensive. Like, come on. And eating out is just, especially breakfast. I don't feel like you can really find a place to get like quality breakfast, you know, something that's healthy, not going to just slow you down so it's like five o'clock right now and i'm going ahead i'm going to go ahead and make my own breakfast that's my toast so i have my sandwich skinnies here and i have my usual egg white little omelet pieces with some shredded mozzarella cheese in there so another good thing that you could do on vacation is to bring your own food now my sister was um we were texting and she was like saying that she made this really delicious turkey burger and i say hey make me one when i get there and she's like uh maybe i'll think about it and then i was just like so what are you gonna feed me and she was saying that we're gonna eat ham sandwiches and it was funny but i wasn't sure <laughs> if she was joking or not so i was like let me bring my own food so that was actually one reason why i decided to bring my own food of course she was kidding uh, i found that out later but I did want to bring my own food just to make sure that I knew I had something that I could eat um, no matter where we were, like where we were during the day, something that I knew that I, that was healthy and something that I knew my body could um, handle because a lot of times when it comes to eating out too much, my body just doesn't like that. <laughs> it just like when my stomach feels kind of upset. So I, I brought um, four salads, I believe it was. Um, and I also brought um, some oatmeal because I wanted to make sure that I had breakfast. Um, so I just measured out one cup of oatmeal and I put them in individual baggies and it was as simple as that. This is another great uh, tip. It's pretty easy. It's also a really good way to save money, um, but share food. Like if you get a big sandwich or something or whatever it may be, just split it. Like split the cost and split the amount of food because you know how much your body can take. You know how much you need to eat to feel satisfied. And if you are just simply eating because you have it all in front of you, that isn't the best way to go. So just split it with the person, whoever you're with, and it's just it's just so much easier that way. Um, we were in Philadelphia, so of course, I had to try a Philly cheesesteak, but I knew that having a whole sub, I mean, you can eat a whole sub, but for me, I knew I would have gotten full like halfway through, but I probably would have just kept eating it anyway. So I just asked my sister if she wanted to just split it, and she was cool with it. And she also bought me um, a pretty sizable bag of Doritos for my birthday because I love Doritos and I ate a good portion of it but towards the end she did eat some of them um, too which was good because I don't need that full bag of Doritos like come on <laughs> and last but not least find a gym to work out in or do some sort of physical activity whether it be running outside or just doing workouts in your room find a way to still get in a workout Luckily for me, my sister um, is living in an apartment that has a gym attached to it. So that was amazing. And the gym was actually pretty good. Like, you know, some of these apartment gyms are just really like small and just like stuffy and like they have nothing in there. But this gym was actually pretty nice. So I got in a really good workout. Um, I worked out, I believe it was Saturday and then again on Monday. And both of them were amazing workouts. I haven't really... Um, use machines like in a long time because i'm always working out um here at home which works out beautiful beautifully for me but it was really good to kind of just like be back in the gym again and you know pushing stuff pull it was it was great so find a gym um do some indoor stuff something just to kind of get that 20 
uh, 25 30 minute workout and whatever it may be so those are all my tips of how i stay fit and healthy on my weekend vacation even though it was my birthday weekend i still wanted to like maintain and just kind of not come home feeling like regretful like oh i ate too much or oh i should have worked out it's like you get tired of living like that you know so i really wanted to just kind of really be true to what I say and, and saying that this is a lifestyle. Like, I don't want to just do it sometime and other times I'm not doing it. I really want it to just be a part of me. So yeah, those are just some of my tips. I hope you guys uh, found those helpful. Um, check the description section for my links. I have links to my Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. So go ahead and follow me on there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for the comments that you guys leave in my videos. Go ahead and leave me a comment on this video here. Let me know some of the things that you do to stay healthy on vacation or some tips that I may have um, mentioned that you didn't think of before. Whatever it may be, leave me a comment below. Let's have a conversation. Again, thank you guys for watching and you guys will see me in a new video very soon. Bye guys.